of course, the questions continue about how how we could let this happen, not just how Bangladesh could let this happen, because we are the consumers of clothing that is made in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the, has the largest concentration of textile manufacturers in the world. And of course, it also has some of the lowest labor standards. In this particular case, Sorrel Rana, the owner of Rana Plaza, this factory, obtained the permit illegally using his political influence to build the building and was in the process of illegally adding floors to the building. And in fact, many workers saw that there were huge cracks drew attention to concerns about safety, but were, but were not allowed to voice those concerns, and those concerns were never addressed. Of course, Sor Rana is now under arrest and, and indicted for, for criminal negligence in this case in Bangladesh, and he's no doubt going to be subject to tremendous, the, the long hand of the law in, in Bangladesh. Just an hour ago, there was a rally in Washington, D.C. by the United Students Against Sweatshops and a number of other organizations, including, including some of us, to bring accountability to this issue and make sure that American multinational corporations ensure that the workers that make our clothing, the clothing that we buy in Walmart, the clothing that we buy in Macy's and Sears and other stores, is, is not made in, in circumstances where tragedies like this can ever happen again. In circumstances that are inhumane, that are despicable, that, that we can do better than and we can and still afford to buy clothing in an affordable way and, and live lives that um, I guess we have come to expect in developed countries. Joining me now to discuss the effort to bring greater accountability to multinational corporations and to make sure that the horrible, horrible tragedy in Bangladesh never happens again on our watch is Garrett Strain from the United Students Against Sweatshops. Garrett, thanks so much for joining us on Take Action News. Thanks so much for having me on. Garrett, tell us exactly what the event was just an hour ago. Today we held uh a picket outside of the gap on Connecticut and Washington, D.C., and we also held a mock funeral for the 1,600 Bangladeshi garment workers who have perished in preventable factory fires and building collapses since 2005. And what we're calling on the gap to do is sign on to a binding fire and building safety agreement that would obligate the brand to put money on the table to renovate their factories and include workers in their unions as an integral part of the solution. Garrett, for all of our viewers and listeners who are interested in getting involved, and I will repeat the information later on, but just to get it right out there right away, where do they go to sign on for this petition to help bring the pressure on retailers like Gap to say they can't wash their hands of these heinous crimes? Yeah. Well, you can go to uh, www.gapdeathtraps.com um, to sign our petition and download letters that you can deliver to store managers, organize your own action, and sign a petition. Uh, right now, the name of the game is just showing the gap that consumers and activists across the world are sick of their excuses. They're sick of workers dying in preventable factory fires because companies like the Gap would rather... Uh, refuse to pay 10 cents per garment, which is the cost that the Worker Rights Consortium has estimated uh, it would cost to actually make these factories safe. They'd rather not pay that than, than, than you know, have workers' lives saved. It's 10 ridiculous. cents per garment, folks. That's the cost, that's the cost yeah. of preventing these disasters in the future. That's the cost of human lives. Think about what, what we would think if there were 1,000 Americans who died in some kind of a factory fire. Think, think about the way we reacted to 15 people dying in the tragedy in West Texas. And of course, that tragedy is also unexcusable. Go to gapdeathtraps.com, again, that's gapdeathtraps.com, to sign on to create accountability for American corporations, for American retailers, uh, people that sell clothing that is made in Bangladesh and other developing countries, to ensure that their basic health and safety standards